So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Subnautica. So it has been about a month since the last episode and that's because really I didn't know what else I wanted to do for my base. We've also explored a heck ton and almost done everything within the game, but uh, guys I know a month is a very long time, you know. We've missed out on uh, drowning a lot because um, that happened every episode. Hopefully not this one here though, the first thing I think I want to do is because it kind of looks dusky, uh, let me try and use my bed or uh, you are not yet tired enough for sleep. Um, how do you know, computer? I guess I won't be sleeping then. But for this episode anyway, guys, we are heading back down to familiar territory and doing something that always excites me about this game, and that is scanning the crazy monsters. A load of people were saying that now the ghost leviathan is a scannable thing, and I mean... Come on. It's been something I've wanted to scan for months. I've really wanted to learn exactly about this creature, and today we're finally gonna get the chance. Uh -huh. People were saying as well that the warper apparently talks, so uh, okay, that's gonna be freaking interesting. What it has to say for me, I don't know. I guess we'll find that out too. But let's get going anyway with this episode. First thing I'm gonna do is spawn in a sea moth, because fortunately I can do that, and I think it was those exploding fish that got it last time. Dinguses. Yep, there we go. Thanks for uh, plopping that right there in front of me. Much appreciated, uh, gods of the realm. We, of course, need to equip our pressure compensator as well because we are not going any depths without it. So let's drop this thing and let's get going. Yep, thank you very- Whoa, wait, how was I doing that? <laughs> Did I just pilot my Seamoth whilst I was climbing in? Let me try that again. Yes, I can. Wow, looks like our skill set really has expanded since the last time I played anyway, but I think the full game releases in around about a month's time, so it's not long away at all, guys, and oh my goodness me, I am so excited to get back learning all of the stuff again and seeing what the story has to offer. We're not there yet, though, all that well. Um, first thing is first, let's get this thing powering up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this thing just sounds so powerful right now, and away we go. So, one thing I learned in the last episode is that you have to watch this thing overheating because I started multiple fires. And Lee died a lot. What we're gonna do is we are gonna head over in the direction first of this fragments thing here. We're not going for the fragments, but I know this is where the blood calp zone is. Listen to that music as well. It feels like all of the areas now have their independent vibes and feels. It's much nicer and it makes the game feel so much more complete. All right, so it looks like the guys that do the shouting thing sound kind of like the Viathans in the dark. They're not really that aggressive anymore, which really does not suit their characters. These guys, I always assume, would be the worst in the ocean. But as you can see, they're dormant. They're just minding their own. I mean, they might be the list out there. They do say never judge a book by its cover. I guess we got to go by that mentality even on this place here. So let's just sail on through guys and I'll cut back once I get to the blood kelp. And here we go. This is where we start to see some familiar sights. The blood calves are here. We have arrived at our destination. Now it's finding that small entry point because I know there is one of the ghost leviathans right through there. We learned that last episode and goodness did it take me by surprise. Here we go. Deeper into the ocean. Dang, where the freak is the entry point for this? I've got to get out of this and have a look. I guess I don't really need to bring the Cyclops in there. Although, oh man, it's a juvenile. It will probably destroy the Seamoth too. I think it may be just down here though, so I think I landed literally overhead. Well, that's pretty damn good. Let's go down here then and explore what it's doing right now. Oh my gosh. Feel the tension of this place, dude. Oh, what? This is so cool. I like how we've got, like, this streamline effect as well. They have done so much since the last time I played this game. Like, it's only been a month, but the improvements are so vast. All right, then, you dingus. Where the freak are you at, huh? you got to be hovering around here somewhere. Easily seen, all right? Oh, my God. Hard to miss. Yeah, okay. <laughs> here he is. Oh, you know what? I should really bring the Cyclops down here. This is stupid because he can destroy this in, like, one hit. Shall we still try anyway? I mean, I could probably trap him and get the freak out of here. Maybe if I lead him in this direction, I can try something. Guys, come on, please. I'm not here for you. I'm here for him, unfortunately. You know what? I need to equip my weapon. Wait, where is it? Oh, dude, I don't even have it. I need the plasma rifle. You can go on number five for now. Okay, okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where the freak is it? I'm so disoriented. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Okay, chill. Chill. If we panic, we're going to mess up. Uh, oh my god. What the heck was that? Oh. Okay. We'll be talking to you later. Oh my freaking god. What? Is that what people mean when they say they talk? That is crazy. It sounds so robotic, like exactly what they are, because they're, they're not authentic to the ocean. Wow, that was cool. Let's try and find this thing. It's almost disappeared. Where could it be? Is it hiding? Where is it? Ah! Huh? It kind of had a shout and left. Okay. Uh, see ya? I can't help but feel like maybe it went deeper into this section here. Like, did it go down here? Oh, we are literally hunting a ghost leviathan right now. This is pretty cool, I gotta say. Whilst I can't actually find the ghost leviathan, it's gone somewhere. I found, like, an obelisk mass right here. I think that's where the destroyed disease facility is, but I want to check that out anyway. Now, I think we're headed right now to where the huge skeleton structure is. There's bound to be one surely lurking down here. It makes the most sense. Yep, you see, I knew. I knew there would be one right down here. So, 
The plan, guys, we are going to freeze this guy in motion and get scanning immediately. Although he looks smaller. Look at his back. He, like, glows in streaks. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Get in. I'm going to kill myself. I am literally going to kill myself, dude. Get in here. That was stupid. That was so stupid. One hit took this down a third health. My goodness, this is terrible. I must have missed. Okay, let's go again. This is bad. He, like, got me right there. Go. Yes. <gasps> we got him. This is it. This is our chance. Let's go. Scan it. A juvenile? You are kidding me. There's a bigger one. <laughs> Uh, that sound is ridiculous. Yes, we got it. Let's find our ship and get the freak out of here. Where is my Seamoth? Wait, where? Where is it? There it is. Let's go. Come on, come on. Get in. Get in. Pilot without being in. Yep, nice skill. Works definitely in these situations. Oh my goodness. We did it. We scanned one then. Ooh, let's go. That was successful as heck. Okay, we're going to get to a safe zone then. And I want to check out exactly what this is. I can't believe we can finally scan it and learn though. That is so exciting. Oh, you know what? I think I might take a detour in here. Wait, wait, hold up. Oh, that's just a small crevice. I thought that was a totally new zone. I want to see what they've done in here. I mean, it looks the same. Dang, it looks crazy, though. Never fails to amaze me. All right, this zone does look fairly peaceful. Not too many aggressive monsters, so we can heal up our Seamoth and also check out this PDA data. Let's get this thing repaired, then. So, heal you up nicely. You did good holding out right there. You did real good. There we go. And I think there's a warp around here, so we can also check out that voice thing as well that people are saying. First thing is first, though. I want to go over to my data bank because we've scanned a new alien life form. It's in the fauna. Carnivore, and it's got to be deadly. Oh, here we go. So we can see from the threat level, it is sky high right here. It attacks pretty much everything and well, we freaking learned that, didn't we? Ghost Leviathan Juvenile. This vast predator has adapted to live in deep waters and dark cave systems, hunting anything and everything. Soft outer membrane and elongated body enable navigation of tight cave environments. The length measures in excess of all Reaper Leviathans encountered, so this is is bigger than the Reaper Leviathan. I would hate to meet the parent of this. This specimen is still growing and shows no indication of stopping. Whoa. Oh, boy. And the assessment. <coughs> wait, wait, is, <coughs> yeah, stay clear. All right. Here we go. We found a warper. They always look around where the precursor bases once lasted. So let's check this. Whoa. You hear that like static in the air? Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Let's find him. Let's find him. And then let's go close. This is stupid. Here it is. All right, let's go close. Let's go close. It can teleport us out. I want to hear it talk. How do we act? Uh, you hear that? Oh, my God. It's going to throw one of the things it missed. Let's agitate it again. Let's go. Here we go. Oh my god, that is crazy! Wow! Oh, that sounds so awesome. Whoa! Guys, I've just thought about it. Whoa, you see that dash? Holy crud, that went for us right there. Let's try again. Poke yeah. Whoa! My god, my health is so... Why does that do so much damage? I've just thought though, guys, like, you know that garble right there? Maybe it's not garble to the precursors. Is that their language? Like, is that how they talk? Surely it's been programmed to make noises like that, unless it's some kind of communication, like, unique sound that they know? Huh, maybe I'm just thinking too much into it, though. I don't know. That's really cool either way. It makes you want to see if anything's changed in here as well. I think I'm going to go check this out. Something ate its way out of this. Look at the way it's been destroyed and just, like, left. Wow. Oh, man. Things have changed so much. Oh, there's an egg right here. What is that? I've never seen that before. What the heck? Look how it hatches like one of the... Is someone like one of the face huggers from Alien? Like there's a top pod that will open up, I guess? Can we scan this? Oh, we can't scan it. That's a shame. What life form is that? And this was also the station where they make the warpers. Maybe he's angry. Maybe he's guarding his brother, which never came to be. Maybe he knows he's living, but is just dormant. I don't know, dude. Could be a mixture of things. Could be all entwined for all we know. Either way, that was an experience. And they, I think, even did more damage than the ghost Leviathan himself. So who is the true beast of the ocean right now? Huh? Who should we really be scared of? So with that done now, I think the next step is going to be, I want to find Papa. I want to find the big ghost Leviathan, the fully grown one, maybe. This is gonna be weird, dude. I don't know why in my right mind I think this is a good idea, but it's a game, you know? We need stupid stuff like that. I don't know where we'll have to travel to find one. I'm trying to think of, like, hot spots because they will be looking around certain biomes, I'm sure. Let's travel down here, though. I've never been this way. This is all new to me. It's like a network. I'm trying to think where this could potentially join up to. I've just gotta watch my depth as well because that is close to max. Oh, I see another one. I do see another. Is that a juvenile? It's so hard to tell. Oh, he looks bigger from a distance. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely bigger. <gasps> yeah, he's a fully grown one. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. I found it. Okay, I'm worried. I'm really worried. He is an absolute monolith. A goliath. What the heck? We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm gonna dip and dive. Why not? Hey, friend. Well, well, not friend. We hey, weirdo. Are you coming for me, huh? You see me? You wanna go, huh? This little tiny organism floating in the ocean? You wanna- you wanna go? 
Oh boy. Hey, look at me. This guy is massive. He is insanely big. Okay, we're gonna try and freeze him in place. Fire, is that good? I missed, I missed, I missed. Oh, now he sees me. Oh my God, oh, we got him. Let's go, let's scan him. Come on, scan, scan, scan. Are you serious, dude? We can't scan the huge Leviathan? Why can we scan the juvenile but not him? He, look at that though, guys. He is mad. He try and break out. Okay, we gotta go. Oh crap, he broke out. Oh crap, he broke out. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> up. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that is crazy. He did so much damage. He did 40%. Ah! Stay away. Okay, we're leaving. Good. So are you. Okay, let's go our independent ways. Everything is so much more intimidating down here, bro. I wonder why they've left it so that we can't scan the huge scale ones. Maybe they need to still think about the appropriate history and data for it. Okay, guys, I think I've had enough fun gambling with my life for one day. Like, uh, usually people don't do this ever. So, uh, yeah. Verdict? Stay away from a ghost leviathan. So now that we're done here, guys, I think the next step for me is going to be to head back to base, and then I want to start constructing some good stuff for the base itself. I think the bedroom was near enough finished. I just wanted to get some, like, different stuff that I could plant around it. And also, if I remember correctly, I did make sort of like a grow area. In that case, maybe it might be worth a trip over to the floating island, because then I can get some more foods. Hmm. Ah, it is good to be back home. So, let's hop back out of this and see any improvements we can make here. I've been thinking one thing I may add strictly for looks is get a load more of these light sources here. They look really cool, to be honest, like having an illuminated base in the night. And I might actually put, like, one of the lights on each and every single one of these, like, observatory type things. Ah, up in here as well, you can see things are now starting to grow. So we have some of the Chinese potatoes. I can take a few of these and just simply replant them as well. Now I have a full farm of the Chinese potatoes growing, I think. And the same with the lantern fruits already. Give me some of those. Granted, they don't do much, but it's just such an easy resource to gather. I could probably get, like, 50 or 60 here. I think that's probably how how many are there? So I have a planter here and one more there. So maybe another food source and then just something for show. I think for my bedroom as well, I'm going to make two more planters. And in fact, I think I can do that now. So let's go one right here. I could also make one of the small aquariums as well. Oh, you already know. I think I had one of those at my old base as well. So that would probably be good to bring one back because I never got around to using it either. There we go. There's the second one of the plant pots. And you know what? Oh, this is going to be cool. I need some glass, but I could have it just behind here. Heck yeah, dude. I'm also really enjoying the new HUD display for things like this. Everything looks so much more cleaner and like the items themselves, they just look so good. Now that we have all of the glass done now, let's head back over and get this aquarium in place. This is progression, guys. This is how it all goes down. So now with the aquarium that we can build, we're gonna... It's literally the perfect width. Why wouldn't we do this, you know? Oh my god, this is so cool, man. Ah, yes. Now check that out. That looks freaking dope. Now, I don't know what we can put in here. Let me just see. So we have one, two, three, four, up to eight creatures. I think I might make this peeper exclusive because I love the peepers and honestly, they're a big impact for the game. All right, my dude, you are the first one I'm going for. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Come on, don't swim away. I'm going to give you a nice home. I'm going to get you food. And oh, Wait, actually, hang on. I'm going to try and get you food, okay? If I don't, well, just please don't die of starvation, okay? Oh, you know what? Should we get some varied life in here? There's a whole fish right here. They look cool. They look awesome, in fact. Let's go for like four of those as well. Yep, get Give me it, give me it. Get me up. So there's four peepers. Now I need three more of the whole fish. I haven't seen too many of those guys, actually, so let's keep an eye out. Kind of have to scour the ocean to try and find them. Hmm, not seeing any, actually, you know? These guys might be a bit more rare. Any of you guys seen a whole fish around here? Like, a whole fish, hello? I can't find them anywhere. Come on, I must have got super lucky then when I found that one right there. Okay, guys, I think whole fish are probably really rare. I didn't find another one. I've been searching for about five minutes right now. I can't find it. It's even going like sundown right now. I guess the hunt will be saved for another day. For now, let's get back in our base then and just get these guys in the aquarium. Here we go. You guys are going to be going just in here, living a lovely lifestyle. Oh, yeah, here we go. I can see them swimming around too. Yes, that looks so awesome. <laughs> yeah, this game makes me so happy when I play it. Just look how cool it looks man. This is my freaking bedroom right here. Cluttered, yes. Still awesome. We just need some plants. I think for this episode I might just go downstairs and get some lantern fruit because they do actually look quite nice once they're fully grown. And there we go. Both have now got lantern fruits planted inside of them. We can see them sprouting already. So once the next episode gets underway, I'm sure these guys would have grown tremendously. One more thing I'm going to do as well is add a bulkhead to this door right here. Ah, so it'll have to be here. That's fine. That's fine. So I've got like a little corridor before I go in my bedroom. If anyone wants to see what's in there, you gotta freaking come in. Now now this looks cool, okay? This looks real cool. So let's try opening this. 
Mm hmm. Uh huh. Reveal it. I'm liking this. I'm loving this, in fact. All right, guys. So, I didn't want to show loads of me just kind of getting resources. I want to get straight to the building here. We should have enough for, I think, about three or four of these. So, let's get placing. First one can go right there. Heck yeah, dude. That looks dope. And this is going to look really cool in the night. Second one can go just here. Then I think I'll start placing things up. Maybe I'm just going to stick to these kind of glass windows for now. I think this looks cool. I guess this would make more sense as well because then it would almost look like a lookout point. So, there's a bit of story to this one. Although, wait, what? There's a lot in that one. There it is. Okay. Wait, we can place them here? Is that inside or outside? That's uh, an interesting placement right there. It doesn't make sense, but it's going to look cool. <laughs> Let's go one more right here. And then I think this is probably going to be enough to look really awesome. So now that we're in the nighttime, guys, things look amazing. You can see all of these light sources doing exactly what they should be. And I mean, just look at the bedroom. It looks insane. I'm really happy with this progress so far, guys. We scanned the juvenile today. We then got an aquarium and really just kitted out our bedroom. You can see now the plants have grown through. Things look really awesome. And I'm glad with the progress I've made. That is going to be what I call this episode, though, guys. Thank Thank you for watching this video and I also hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video guys, of course if you did enjoy and I will of course see you on the next one.